Chester from Twin Flags, and today I'm gonna chase down birds down the sea. Let's see if we can find one if we get lucky. Flex on, brothers and sisters. Yep, that was me before I got hit by COVID-19. Healthy and strong as a gorilla, rocking the hospital work, helping people. Everybody got a plan until you get punched in the face. My dear friends, I've learned a lot of stuff during my COVID-19 sickness of the 6th to 10th day, and I will tell it to you right now. Number one, the most important thing you have to do is exercise your lungs and expand them. You have to get up and sit. This prevents you from onset of secondary bacterial pneumonia. Number two, whatever you do, you have to exercise. Ankle pumps, move your wrist when you're laying down, move your feet, clench your toes, whatever you need to do to move. Number three, you have to alleviate your symptoms. If you have fever, call your doctor, ask for Tylenol or ibuprofen, all the Tylenols over the counter, but always ask your doctor. Number four, use a humidifier. This helps you breathe. And five, again, I can't disregard the importance of moving. Move six to eight times a day. Do not lay in bed all the time. This comes back. <coughs> <coughs> it's 99.8 again. I tie them up the whole time. <sighs> We can do this. Just chill. <coughs> Hi. Uh, good morning. <coughs> oh, man. Today is a seven day. Not so good day. Um, I was awakened by uh, 101.9 fever chills. Um, I'm having. A lot of body ache, stomach ache, uh, headache. I took a little bit of shower uh, after I took Tylenol. Um, I just got off text uh, with my buddy Julie, <clears throat> and she's been having the same thing. A lot of body aches, cramps, um, shortness of breath, um, um, stuffiness. Um, my heart rate when I woke up was 112, and I was chilling. I also have like a fever of 101.9, went down to 100, then I started sweating, that felt good, so I I started eating after that. Um, my wife is watching me 24 seven, so thanks to her. But day seven is terrible. Um, you think you're out of the woods already, and then it hits you back with with a temp. And whenever that temp comes back, you know, chilling, you're, I'm like chilling like a helicopter. Um, you can't stop it, so. Um, you gotta hold on, um, later, um, I'm gonna try to do a breathing treatment. Um, uh, my friends in Jersey said that, um, what might help is, like, water and salt treatment, and then you cover yourself with a blanket and sniff. So I'm gonna try that later, alright? So I just wanna keep you updated on how this process is, um, day second and third is the worst for me, and then now day six and seven. All right, see you. Pray for us, pray for me, and I pray for you too. Bye. Hi folks, so today it's day seven and I'm having a lot of congestion, um, um, some breathing uh, problems. So I'm gonna try this New Jersey technique that my uh, former coworkers who got infected in Jersey told me to try. 
So you boil water and salt and you cover yourself with blanket. A la Lolo Bosho technique. So we'll see if this helps. Okay. Let's see how this works. Okay. Steam, steam. Steam, steam. Not bad in here. Mm, oh yeah. Steam yourself in and out. Breathe. Oh yes. Yeah. Easier to breathe. This this is awesome. Yeah. Uh, ever since I had COVID. I had this weird tremors in my hand. I don't know if it's a tremor or basically just weakness, but my hand just keeps shaking when I'm trying to stabilize it. More kind of a uh, minute Western tremor, but I don't mind as long as I'm breathing right. This morning started with a crazy, crazy morning. I had the temp of 101.8 again. I had the chills like a helicopter. It's terrible. And then I had some stomach issues. Um, had some myalgia pain, uh, arthralgia on the toes and on my little finger. It's crazy. And my O2 sats going up and down. So I went to do an X-ray hope and. When they took the x-ray, it was, it was good. Um, lungs are clear. My doctor said if my sets go down, I have to go to the emergency room to get remdesivir or some kind of medication. So I, I trust him. Uh, he's my best friend. He's a good doctor. And also I, I trust the whole team, my wife and uh, our Twin Flex um, manager, Team Murakami. Hello. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is not easy. So, you folks who are having a hard time um, breathing, you can try this. So this is the first time I'm doing it, so hopefully it helps a lot. It It's already clearing my sinus, so this is awesome. Wow, yeah. Well, see you folks. Hopefully I'll get better at day eight. Okay, see you. Just trust in God, he will do the rest. Flex on. <clears throat> so I've been having a lot of cough, high fever again. Um, I'm losing my uh, strength, but I won't lose my faith. You know, I gotta keep fighting through this. Um, big up on my breathing exercise. Big up on my prayer. COVID is nothing. You just have to fight through it, you know. <clears throat> we'll make it. We'll make it. Let this be a warning to all of you out there who are in healthcare. Take the vaccine and and save a lot of lives. There's a lot of people dying out there and I'm fit. I had it and it's punishing me. You know, nobody wants this thing, but if you had it, my God, you got to be prepared for it. Okay, let's get pushing it, man. Day nine, keep going. <coughs> <coughs> Hi, um, good afternoon. Uh, today is day nine. Um, I've been having a uh, temperature since day six, seven, eight, and nine. And uh, my friend Dr. Lim told me that it's the course of the disease. Um, you get the chills, the uh, myalgia. And temperature just keeps hanging 100.8, uh, 101. If I'm at 100, I take advantage of it and then I take a steam bath. So we're gonna check today where we're at. Also, um, um, I'm gonna do deep breathing exercises later. Uh, my friend, uh, Dr. Thai Binley, who works in California, uh, he said that it's awful out there. 
3,300 Americans die every day. So this thing is really serious, man. So you guys take your vaccine. It's no excuse. Take it. Save lives. Um, I'm going to take my temperature and check. I still don't feel good. See, it's a uh, hundred and one point seven. <coughs> oh yeah, I feel like I'm gonna freaking crash. But gotta keep fighting, man. This is what you gotta do when you have COVID. You gotta keep fighting. Layer up, rehydrate. The most important thing is to check your vitals. Make sure you are always hydrated. Otherwise, if your stats goes down ninety two, you're gonna be very weak. And plus uh, dehydration, you can go to the emergency room. So you got to prevent that from happening. Okay, so right now I'm going to take a steam bath and I'm going to take a steam breathing and then I'm going to rest. Okay, <laughs> see. <coughs> After that last video, folks, I got worse. My temperature didn't go down despite the medications. It always comes up at night gives me a headache chill and the whole nine yards i lost my appetite i was so darn weak to even breathe so i have to lay in prone don't forget that if you can't breathe you gotta lay down prone so you can increase the uh, gas exchange and space in between your lungs and your cavity but thanks to this folks who always call and bug the heck out of me to keep moving keep praying to keep pushing not to give up i told you before everything will go down but keep your fate up the whole batch 94 of della salipa thank you for always guiding me all my friends in jersey especially aris aquino who always bugs the hell out of me and Jomar Basilio always tells me to exercise. These people help me. Now it's day 11 and my temperature is down. With meds of course, but I'll be able to get out of here soon. Trust me. With all the knowledge I gain, I will definitely teach you how to recover from this thing. To get you back to your life, get you back to your work, and your functional performance. Flex on.